Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. My name is She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video, I'll be doing my first cash stuffing for the month of April, lies. My second cash stuffing for the month of April. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. I do hope you are all well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. And if you're new to the channel, my name is She's on a Budget and over my channel, I discuss all things budgeting related. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching in future, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. But guys, we are back for another cash envelope stuffing and I'm going to jump right in because I do have a lot to talk about today. So I haven't done this for a while, guys. I haven't done it for a while, but as I keep saying, I am treating myself like a beginner. I am eating my own words. And if I was a beginner, this is definitely something that I would do. So before each cash stuffing, I would review the previous week and put down my expense stickers, just so I can see clearly where my money is going throughout the month so we're talking about from the first until the ninth i'm going to say was it for the first week and we did go to tesco on the monday i think it was a monday i'm not even sure guys you know what we're winging it this week i'm not even going to pretend that i actually know which dates these things occurred on because i made a really crucial mistake and i didn't actually keep any of my receipts so that was a fail on my part so yeah you do need to keep your receipts guys especially if you use any of those cashback apps where you can get money back. So yeah, we went Tesco last week and this week, i.e. yesterday, I actually went to Audi. Should I put this one down this week? I'm gonna put it down already. I did go to Audi this week, i.e. yesterday, and I also went to Costco. I also went to Costco. So I used that money that I had in my household envelope, guys. I bought some of my toiletries and bits and bobs, but you know what it's like when you go to Costco, you actually go over, well, maybe not you, but I do a lot of the time and yesterday we did I actually went over quite a bit it was um 40 pounds more than that but i've taken some money out of my um spending money and clothes envelope i haven't taken the money out of the clothes envelope yet actually i will do that but i've taken some money out of my own personal envelope to cover the portion that i'd say is my own spends i bought myself a lounge set that was on special offer um so i took that off and it was still 40 pounds over but i haven't taken out the amount that I used on food. So there were bits and bobs and snacks and stuff that I bought that I don't usually buy from Costco when I do my household um, like bulk shopping. So I'm giving myself a bit of a breather. When I go over budget that much, I usually start to panic and think I need to put, put up the overall budget for that particular envelope, but I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna wait, see how we go next month and go from there. As I said, I wasn't frugal, so I'm not going to, you know, penalise myself. Um, Thursday, I think I got my nails done. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure, guys. I think it was Thursday. We're going with Thursday. I got my nails done and I used the money out of my hair and beauty envelope. That was actually three pounds less than that. I did take 30 pounds, well, 30 pounds in notes out of my envelope, but I did have a voucher for 10% off. So I managed to get three pounds off but that change is in my purse somewhere. And I don't count change, so I wouldn't put the change back into the envelope. That change will go into maybe a savings challenge or I give it to the kids or whatever. So I don't really keep an eye on coins anymore, not like I used to, but um, not to say that that isn't a good thing to do. Gas is next. We didn't get any gas this week. Why have we got this sticker fee? Naughty. Um, electric is next. We did get electricity though. I um, topped up the key on Friday. I actually don't know. This may have been Thursday as well, but we're going with Friday. And um, as I said, I used some spending money um, out of my spending money envelope for Costco. That's where we took the extra cash from. And diesel, this was last week when I actually had the car. I think it was Wednesday that I actually put um, diesel in the car you will know if you follow me or if you watch the vlog should i say you will know that we no longer have the car guys and then i'm gonna put this closed envelope up here close envelope close spend up here with the costco spend as well 
So yeah, most of the spending happened <laughs> yesterday. These are what I'd call, you know, my regular spends, but most of the spends happened yesterday, guys. But yeah, I am gonna come in every week and I'm gonna put down my expense stickers because I think it helps. It helps me anyway, see where my money is going. So yeah, that is my PSA. Looking at my budget though for this week, we have got quite a small budget, guys small in every sense of the word so we haven't got a lot of categories which is really weird for me um but i like it in terms of fixed expenses this week groceries i'm putting 70 pounds towards my food which is a regular amount household we are not putting any because i put 60 pounds a month as you may know and we have used that definitely got over our household budget this month but anyway fuel we are not budgeting for because why we do not have a car anymore guys again watch the vlog it tells you everything about that but i no longer am a car owner so i not only have to remove my diesel envelope i also have to remove my car e-fund envelope but we'll talk about that in a sec gas we are budgeting 40 pounds and the same for electric i did make a mistake though i did actually just say that i used the gas for last week but i haven't as yet guys um so i am going to still stuff the extra 40 pounds because i know that i will definitely use that 40 pounds very soon so um i'm still going to put the money in there um and go from there electric as i said is 40 pounds amount for tithe i'll put in later on but i do have that amount ready to stuff into my tithe envelope spending money i'm going to put 20 pounds this week reason being i am now using public transportio go to tuition when tyrese is working early so i have access to a vehicle um guys my son has a, a lovely little car that i can use but it does depend on his working um hours so he's working early this week which is why i do have to use public transportio but Next week he isn't, so I don't have to use it. So yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of extra money in there until I get like a, I don't even know if I'm gonna start doing a transport envelope. Should I? Maybe I should, maybe I will. I might do that next week. Gifts and celebrations is going to get 10 and council tax, I've left it blank because I still don't know how much I need to put towards that or will be paying towards that, should I say, on a monthly basis, guys. I did pay some money towards my council tax last week, even though I didn't really need to, just so that I have paid something this month. Yeah, I don't know what it's going to be. When I know, I'll put it into the budget. But as I said, I've already paid a little bit towards it anyway last week, so I'm not too panicked about that. But let's do our total for our fixed expenses. In total, we have £180 going to our fixed expenses. Next, we have our variable expenses and we are back to what I'd say my regular amounts are for these expenses. So Nevaeh, Tyrese and Jada are each getting £5 this week. Clothes, we are budgeting £20 this week. I don't think I actually said I was going to budget £20. Did I say £20, £40, £68? No, I did. I did say I was going to budget £20 a week for clothes, so that's fine. Hair and beauty, we are budgeting 10, which is fine. Car e-fund, as I said, we no longer have a car. So I will not be putting any money towards a car emergency fund. You may be thinking, right, are you gonna get another car? What is the situation with the car? As of today, I can honestly say, I don't know. My reasons for actually getting rid of my car was a choice, guys. I don't use my car anywhere near as much as I used to. It is a big car. I don't need that for technically one person because I don't really spend that much time with the whole family in that vehicle in one go. Um, and number two, I work from home now. You know, I'm not commuting anymore. So yeah, it's really, really weird that this has actually happened in the way it has, but I've had to make some choices. As I say to you all, all the time, you have to prioritize what is important to you. And I can honestly say, there are things that I wanna do this year that are more important than a car. And I'd rather spend the 3,000 pounds I do a year on this car on those things. So that is where I am putting my money. So yeah, car refund is blank. We're not putting any money towards our car emergency fund. Um, we have a penny challenge, which we are budgeting 20 pounds towards this week. And my Bible challenge, I'm pleased to say, we have managed to read another book, so I can put another five pounds into that envelope. In total, we have got... £7.50 
70 pounds. That can't be right. Is that all I'm putting? 70 pounds towards variable expenses, guys. Probably the, the lowest amount that I've ever budgeted for, for variable expenses. We're budgeting 70 pounds this week, guys. Wow, 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 wow. And then coming to savings and debt, we have our emergency fund that we are saving towards. I'm budgeting the same amount that I did last week, which is £25. So that is our total going to savings. So debt, this week we are budgeting um, £60 for debt free, £37.83 to debt two. In total, we are budgeting just under £100, so £97.83 is going to those two debts. So let's come in now to our breakdown. Fixed expenses, we have 180 pounds. Variable, we have 70. We have 25 pounds going to savings. We don't have any investments, but we have 97.83 going to our debt. But yeah, guys, that is my budget all done. Okay, guys, so starting with my mini cash envelope binder and my mini weekly envelopes. So the first envelope that I have is my householder envelope. As I said, we've already gone out to Costco this week, so this is totally empty. And I'm not going to be stuffing that until next month. Electric is totally empty. I'm going to be adding £40 this week into this envelope. And that's done. Gas is next. Gas is going to also get £40 but I'm not going to add it to the 40 that's here, guys. So I am going to be using that very, very soon, probably in the next day or so. So this is going to be used after I use this amount. So I'm just gonna put them both in here. I may even put both of them on at the same time. Um, yeah, I probably will, guys. That would make more sense. So that's all done. Um, diesel is next. I'm happy to say I can actually re remove this envelope now from the pack. So we have no longer a need for that mini envelope groceries is next groceries i'm going to add 70 so 50 and the 20 is going to go inside my groceries envelope like that spending money is next i'm going to be adding 20 pounds i'm going to take two tens for our spending money and that can go inside here like that hair and beauty is next hair and beauty i do still have some cash but i'm going to add to it 10 pounds so i'm gonna put 10 pounds into hair and beauty let's put that like that and this like this so we currently have 20 30 45 in here which is brilliant because i am going to get my hair done this week, I promised myself I'm gonna do it. So that's done. Gifts and celebrations is next. We currently have, I think 20 pounds. Oh, I thought I had 10 pounds in here. 20 pounds in here. Yeah, 20 pounds. I'm going to add another 10, which makes 30 pounds. And that can go back into my gifts and celebrations envelope. We don't have any birthdays coming up apart from Tyrese's, but as you know, he has his own envelope. So that is all done. Next, we have my essentials binder. So these are all of my main, well, these are my only sinking fund envelopes at the moment, guys. So we're starting with Nevea. Nevea currently has quite a bit in here. We're only adding five this week. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 25 in Nevea's envelope. Her birthday, is in November, so we've got a little bit of a way to go for her birthday. Tyrese is next. Tyrese is going to be getting five. So we currently have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 45. So we have £245 in his envelope. And I'm going to put it back in here just for safekeeping, guys. But that is probably what he's going to get for his birthday this weekend. So we've managed to get near the 250 mark. 
I may add a fiver in there before the week is out. I don't know. But yeah, this is probably going to be it for his 2023 birthday. Yeah, Tyrese's birthday envelope is all done. Jada's next. Jada is going to be getting £5. So we currently have 10, 25, 30. 30 pounds for Jada's envelope and her birthday is now next February. So that's all done. My clothes envelope is going to get 20 pounds. I'm gonna take a 20 pound note and I'm gonna put that behind that one. We currently have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 115 pounds. I did say I was gonna take out a little bit of money from here for, um, the bits that I bought from Costco, but I think I'm gonna leave it in here, guys, for now. I may take it out at the end of the month instead. But that is all done anyway. My car refund is next. <laughs> this feels so weird, guys, me taking out this envelope, but I've had a car emergency fund or a car maintenance fund for so long now, it feels so strange. I'm gonna take this 10 pounds out and I'm gonna put it back into the the tray and add it to another envelope, I think. That makes sense. Moving on to my savings challenges. I've got read more books next. And as you know, I'm trying to read more books from the Bible. And the book that I managed to read, it was another small one. It's literally a page and, I wouldn't even say a page. Is it a page and a half? It's very small, guys. It is Jude. I think it's two pages, two and a half pages. It isn't very big at all, but I did read Jude and it was very interesting to be honest. I'm going to be adding five pounds into this envelope and we currently have 15 pounds in here. So I'm really happy about that. We seem to be moving a bit quicker now that I've changed the aim of the challenge, which is great. So 15 pounds is going into my book challenge envelope overall. Any challenges next? We are going to be crossing off seven boxes. And despite the fact that it is probably less than 20 pounds, we are going to be putting 20 pounds into this envelope. So two tens, I'm gonna take out what we have in here. And I am going to count what we have now. Currently got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 15. So we got 415 pounds in here. Bearing in mind the total that we are looking to get to is 667.95. We haven't got long guys to go in terms of reaching a target. We are nearly into the ones, guys. I'm so excited. So yeah, this is really coming along really nicely. I'm looking forward to it. I have no plans on where this money is gonna go, but it's just nice doing it, I think. And as I said to you the other day, I'm probably gonna to continue to do a penny challenge to some degree um, each year. The last couple of envelopes I have are my cash e-fund, first of all. And I was going to put 25 pounds in here, but I think I'm just gonna put what's left guys, which is 35 pounds into this envelope, seeing as we had the extra tenner from the car e-fund. So we currently have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds currently in our cash emergency fund, which is great. So that's all done. And then I'm just gonna unclip my tie. It's not a lot this week, but I'm gonna add it to the tie that I had in there from last week. And I think I'm just gonna do a big payment at the end of the month. I wasn't sure about what I was gonna do last week, but I've decided to just wait until the end of the month and then put whatever I have in here into the bank and pay that forward. But yeah, guys, that is all done. Hey everyone, it's Nevaeh, and I'm back for another cash stuffing video. So first, as always, we're going to be starting with our cash box. And we're going to be stuffing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pounds into our pounds box. That would be my pocket money. 
and then 10 pounds into the notes compartment. That extra money was for cleaning the dog as it's one of my extra do tasks that I get. So that is that. Now moving on to my cash binder to stuff all these things. I went out yesterday to go shopping. So I've used some going out and some clothes money. So I'm going to be going in here. And as we have a 10 pound note, I might, I might use some fives from an envelope to two fives to, to kind of divide it for each envelope. So I have a little bit to contribute for each envelope. So I'm gonna take these two fives out of my savings and give it this 10. Like that, because I really leave these two envelopes alone just to because they're going let's they're kind of saving up envelopes. And then I'm going to be putting five pounds in my clothes envelope. And five pounds in my going out envelope. Right, so that is my extra little reward. Now moving on to my pocket money. Got seven pounds here. So two pounds in my clothes envelope. Two pounds in my savings. And two pounds in my going out. As I do have an extra little pound, put it in the phone envelope. So as you see, there's a lot of coins adding up in these envelopes. We'll soon replace them with notes themselves. But yeah, that is all the money stuff for this week. Okay guys, so that's all for now. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please not forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye guys.